Hello Flutterlings, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be diving deep into creating more ChatGPT based UI to Flutter code. All right, so this is the image that we have. It's a cl Instagram clone, at least it looks like one. So we'll be trying to implement this UI right here with ChatGPT 4. So uh, let's get into it. So first off, we should not be uh, taking the entire UI and giving it to the ChatGPT 4. It's not the way we should go about it. So what we'll do is we'll put a screenshot and what we'll do is we'll select this area, which is the app bar. We know it's the app bar. We will create an app bar like this. And then we will take this area and that's, that's another set of widget. We'll take that and we will select this part right here and we will consider that as one widget. And also finally we have the bottom nav bar. Bottom nav bar we will select till here and we will take a snapshot of that. All right, now we have everything. We will go here and upload the first image. So that's the app bar. All right, that's the prompt. So it will do its magic. Let's wait for it. Okay, it's given one code. We'll copy the code. Try to paste it here. Save it. And that's somewhat like the code we want. But we need to have these kind of logo logos, uh, the icons here. The logo and the icon. So we'll just try to fix that. Um, we have the Instagram text here. And send outline is here, but we have to change the color to black it's there it's not where we want it to be and we have another one right here okay so what we'll do right here is change the center to space between and we have a similar looking widget. All right, so you have to do some conversions, some code, some changes, but it it will work for most of the part. Now the body. So, so we have the starter code. So what we'll do is we'll uh, upload the second image, this one right here. In fact, we should be uploading the circle avatars. Never mind. We will we will send this one right here, and see what it comes up with. So it will create a list view of cards. It's creating an Instagram card. That's what it's saying. And there's a URL to the image. And there's text leading circle avatar. Everything is there. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so it has come up with a code for that. You copy the code. And what we will do is we come here, paste it. And we come back here. And this is a stateless widget. Um, it's a stateless widget, okay. We copy the code here. Uh, we copy the code here and we can copy this code here as well. So there are no errors. Now what we'll do is we'll put the stateless widget here. That Instagram card. 
Save it. Mm, there are some errors, of course. We did not specify the images, that's why the errors are coming. We should say the UR network URL here in the list image. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll select this image right here and put it, put it over here and we put a similar one over here and we save it. And just hot restart the app. Okay, so as we can see, it's not exactly like the image, but it kind of, it kind of is like the image. Some things are changed, some things are not, but definitely a starter code. You can use it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I, I hope you understand how the AI is so far. We, we are getting similar things and we can chat with the AI to fine tune it, put it right to the left change it to the right, something like that. You can do that on your free time. But for the video, I just am demonstrating how this is happening with ChatGPT4 and Flutter. Well, of course it's destined to get better, but definitely this is what the output is right now. I'll just create a bottom navigation bar as well and we'll wrap this up. Okay, for the bottom navigation bar, I'm going to select the bottom navigation bar here and say I need a bottom nav bar this image for the same okay so just given all that So it's starting from the whole creation of the app. It's not really needed. So it's creating a stateful widget. Bottom navigation bar items. Yeah, it's creating bottom navigation bar items. I'll copy these things. If we copy from the bottom navigation bar right here and we'll copy it here. We'll paste it right next to the scaffold. Instagram view. We should be putting Instagram view here. more of them and yeah, now it's like now it's like more of them yeah no, this is better okay we'll put now we will put the bottom navigation bar right next to here we already copied that part we'll paste it right here and we need the selected index I will copy it from there we'll copy the selected index from here Copy it from here and change it to stateful widget. Convert to stateful widget. And we'll paste the thing right here and save it. Of course, there are more buttons, but they are not colored. That is why it's not showing. If you look closely, you can see there are, there are buttons. Let's see. Okay, so we can just color it just to make it look good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll put this thing right here and I'm gonna use Copilot and ask it. Uh, colored, uh, they're using a spe specific color, color green. So I'll just say, just say that and it's saying it's thinking okay it'll come up with certain things okay yeah so the selected items color it should be green that is green and uh, unselected 
Okay, now co-pilot is selected, unselected. Great. Great. Yeah. Ah, never mind. So this is how it is. Take the gray color. So we've created a list view, a nav bar, and uh, um, a uh, bottom nav bar. This is a start. You can just integrate API with it and all that if you want to develop more beautiful apps. Start a code for more beautiful apps. It's, it's up to you, imaginations. All right, so um, that's it. That's a wrap of the video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.